So very well, welcome to all our viewers, uh, both VAPE and EIB viewers. It is my great pleasure to welcome the authors of the article, Female Directors and Impression Management in Sustainability Reporting. This article was published in the International Business Review in 2019 and was ranked number one on our VAPE's top 20 favorite reading list on gender and sustainability. This reading list was curated by Yingying Zhangzhang and myself. Unfortunately, Yingying couldn't be here today, so it's just me, but I incorporated her questions as well. Um, let me briefly introduce um, our authors. Isabel Maria Garcia Sanchez is a full professor at the University of Salamanca. Her research interests include sustainability, ethics, circular economy, SDGs, corporate governance, gender diversity, and accounting. And we have Oscar Suarez Fernandez. He's lecturer in business administration at Santiago de Compostela University at the Faculty of Economics. His research interests are issues around the narrative information disseminated by companies, in particular, its usefulness and the management uh, of impression through it. And last but not least, Jennifer Martinez Ferrero uh, is professor also at the University of Salamanca at the Faculty of Economics and Business. And her research focuses on sustainability, corporate governance, and gender diversity. All three of our guests have a very impressive and long list of sustainability related publications. And without further ado, I would like to jump into the questions. Um, so first of all, what is it that inspired this paper idea? How that, does this paper connect to your overall research agenda? Well, uh, first, we want to thank you for the recognition we have received and congratulate for, uh, you for the work you do. Uh, in relation to your question, the disclosure of financial information has become part of corporate communication policy with, uh, within large companies. This statement uh, should respond to the informative demands of the stakeholder, reporting relevant information on the social and environmental performance of the firms, which in turn could lead to greater responsibility for corporate action. In practice, several studies have revealed the system of information deficiency that hinder decision making by the different stakeholders, like limit effectiveness and credibility and rarely comparable. In addition, uh, we know that the relevance of the sustainability information disclosed is associated with the existence of firm incentives. Companies with better environmental and social performance have economic incentives to reveal information of a numerical nature, which allow different stakeholders to compare their performance with that of other companies and identify the better firms. In this sense, these companies will benefit from lower cost of capital and debt, as well as higher reputation. In contrast, the firms with the worst performance offer you sustainability reports as making tools by offering an idyllic image partially disconnected from the reality of business performance. Companies make use of various impression manage management techniques to do so, like an optimistic narrative rhetoric and artificial representation of the reality based on photographs and distortionate graphics. In other words, uh, less sustainable companies pursue symbolic legitimacy using impression management tactics. With this last approach, in this paper, we try to expand the previous empirical evidence examining the relationship between board diversity in terms of, of gender difference and the quality of sustainability reporting, ensured by several aspects like balance, clarity, comparability, and reliability of information. Uh, we defend that female directors are less, are less likely to manipulate corporate disclosure due to their, their ethical leadership and greater precision may contribute to a better internal control environment with a strong emphasis on reliability reporting. Uh, the idea of the, rich, of the research on this paper is, inter, is integrated in our research agenda. We are working on different lines of research focus on the relevance and quality of no financial disclosure, the commitment of the firms with sustainability and 2030 agenda, and the tax that corporate governance mechanisms have in this regard. 
On the most important objective is to highlight the role that the cooperation of women in the main decision making position can play, especially considering the top management team and board of directors. Uh, female directors influence board strategic involvement through their contribution to decision making according with the professional experience and the different by, by value they bring. Uh, we argument that some leadership styles are more effective than others and the system of difference between female and male behavior. The heterogeneity linked to the gender of the director entails positive and negative aspects in the decision making process. But women behave more communally than men and are, and, more, and are more participative, collaborative, flexibly, and inclusive. The social trace suppose that the presence of greater number of female directors tends to tip the balance in favor of practice more aligned with the demands of stakeholders. In our research, we try to contrast this argument and to know the environments that favor the female leadership style. Thank you very much. So when you think back to the review process, how did the reviews receive this idea? Did you receive any pushback? Yes, and thank you, Noelle. Uh, well, uh, the article was published uh, three years ago, but uh, I remember that was uh, will come with great interest by both the editor and the reviewers, uh, highlighting the, the contributions uh, to the state of the art. I believe that uh, this interest in the topic uh, allow us to improve our work much with valuable comments. Uh, certainly, I think that uh, an important part of the quality of the article uh, depends on the comments made by the reviewers. And it is important that uh, even if uh, they are no experts in the subject, in topic, they read the work with a critical uh, but constructive uh, spirit. And in this sense, I, uh, I consider um, that uh, we were fortunate uh, because as in uh, any research uh, you are so involved in it uh, that you take certain things for granted and and don't explain them adequately uh, you know uh, most of the of the reviewers comments focus on, on certain aspects uh, of the theoretical framework of the paper and for example uh, i remember we were instructed to, to give more weight in the work to, to explain the difference between male and female leadership in the company. Uh, and of course, uh, all comments were gratefully received uh, on our side and incorporated uh, into the article without, without problem. Thank you. Uh, so what did you find most surprising about your results in the paper? Well, uh, thanks, Noemi, for your question and opinion about uh, our paper and for the opportunity to talk uh, with you about it. Um, well, our evidence is uh, consistent with the existence of positive externalities associated with the presence of women in supervisory and senior management uh, positions. That is, or in other words, uh, we, we evidence how uh, boards with greater female representation decrease the risk of impression management strategies on sustainability disclosure. Um, female directors are uh, positively associated with more balanced, comparable, and reliable information, although it's true that uh, they are also associated with less clear and uh, precise uh, information, given th their narrative uh, character. Uh, moreover, we, we also evidence that um, these, effects, these effects are rated in more stakeholder-oriented uh, countries. Having described the results, it's true that uh, my ideal results are not are not meet or uh, they are not uh, they were not uh, found. The ideal or the desired, at least in, uh, for me, is that uh, there are no no difference between men and, and women. That is a, a non significant relationship uh, or a non significant effect of the influence of female uh, directors on on the reason. Uh, impression management strategies. Um, the, the path or maybe the, the, the future uh, must be that there are no, no, no difference between genders that uh, any director or CEO or chairperson, uh, regardless of gender, can generate uh, positive outcomes, outcomes for, for the fame. Um, 
just uh, a few weeks ago, uh, in the European Accounting Association Congress, uh, place at uh, in Bergen in Norway, uh, a Danish uh, colleague told me that uh, they that uh, she didn't understand why we why um, we talk about uh, female or or male stereotypes uh, that uh, there were no, no, no difference in behavior in several of the companies' boards of top management uh, teams uh, that she analyzed in, in, in her research. It is true that uh, obviously I, I invite the culture of her country, but the truth is that uh, in our research, we focus in, on an international database with a clear institutional difference uh, between uh, between countries. Uh, for example, in Spain, in, in our country, there is a still a big difference in, in behavior between men and, and women. And government bodies still have a low uh, percentage of representation of women in, in their boards, management teams, or any control or supervisory, or, 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 uh, supervisory uh, body. Um, in our good, in our, in in our uh, culture, uh, women or the presence of uh, women in, in films is still linked to a female stereotype associated, for example, for example with um, less tendency to risky behavior, to uh, discretionary behavior, to um, greater benevolence, uh, accounting conservatives, more ethical behavior, more oriented to ethical, sustainable, uh, environmental issues, climate change, uh, and, and so on. So yes, our results uh, certainly show uh, what was expected, but from my, 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 point, uh, my point of view, uh, not ideal or, or desired results. Thank you very much. So your article was published three years ago in 2019. Any updates on your thoughts since then? Do you have any follow-on projects? Thank you for the question, Ani. Uh, so far, the findings of our work have not been updated. Uh, in our study, we mentioned it, uh, some future extensions because our research doesn't consider other possible var variables that might affect the relationship between board diversity and the quality of uh, sustainability reporting, such as uh, the role of ownership concentration or the legal system of the country of origin. Uh, these variables uh, can act as a control mechanism in this relationship. Uh, also, uh, we are considering extending the study to other aspects. For example, uh, the, the COVID health crisis had obvious and strong impacts on the activity of the companies. So it would be of interest to see how these effects uh, were reflected in the sustainability reports and the role played in the regard by women, women to the managerial positions. Since there is evidence that the context influenced the behavior. See how a health crisis influence decision making on disclosure and sustainability reporting is of interest, uh, in my opinion. Uh, in, in addition, the, we plan to analyze, analyze documents with advanced tools, such as text mining, uh, uh, which uh, will allow us to analyze through artificial intelligence, for example, the sentiment of documents and extract information and relationships between their uh, different contents are related with gender diversity in management positions of the company. Uh, and finally, uh, we are also interested in extending uh, the work to study uh, the effect of the pressure of the women, not only on the board of directors, uh, but also in other key positions in the company, uh, such as a chief financial officer or internal audit. Thank you. So how do you think that the SDG approach, because there is more and more talk about the, the, the SDG framework also in the literature, do you think that this approach will significantly impact this line of research at the intersection of gender and sustainability? Yes, thanks for, thanks for the question, Noemi. Uh, um, well, policies and, and strategies at the, at the corporate or, or firm level on social and environmental uh, commitment have gained great uh, uh, relevance in recent uh, years, been um, almost essential uh, in a market where the firm uh, reputation or image uh, is uh, linked to, to management strategies. 
in, the, in this regard, uh, concepts uh, such as long-term sustainability, return to stakeholders, social and environmental commitment uh, have become in priority issues on the agendas of boards, uh, committees, management committees, uh, uh, investors, and obviously uh, for uh, the academia and, and literature. In this context, the, the role of uh, the board and, and its committee has become even more important uh, with the urgent need uh, to have profiles that provide uh, different, different, a diversity, a diversity of knowledge, skills, abilities, and, and experience to address increasingly complex issues and uh, above all in, in growing uh, demand. Thus, uh, here is based on gender uh, diversity um, roles, based on gender roles, associate ethics, environmental concerns, uh, social commitment, uh, with the presence of uh, women in, in, the, in the films. The feminine uh, characteristics, uh, for example, is associated with uh, greater benevolence, uh, ethical commitment, universalism, inclination to ethical issues to comply with uh, rules and laws, um, empathy uh, and so on, make the leadership uh, uh, more social and oriented to satisfy the, the different stakeholders' demands, with uh, recent surveys indicating that directors with um, that female directors are more likely to consider aspects uh, related to environmental, social and uh, social injustice or human rights in companies' strategies. However, it's true that uh, the previous empirical evidence on the role of women uh, of women in promoting sustainable uh, strategy at the corporate level is not clear uh, with heterogeneity, uh, with heterogeneous uh, results uh, in this regard, in this regard. And I think that several aspects uh, were omitted by, by the literature to, to date, as, as far as we know. Um, on the one hand, and Although the board of uh, the board of directors is fundamental for the integration for the integration of uh, socially and environmentally responsible aspects for the film, this integration must permeate to lower hierarch hierarchical levels and other management positions. Um, some aspects uh, are omitted by, by recent uh, literature in this regard. On the other hand, and beyond uh, the studies of women directors, there is hardly any evidence uh, on the role of women when they belong to higher positions, for example, to uh, female executives, or evidence on their uh, role as a member of a specific uh, committees on sustainability with a significant gap in, in this aspect that must be examined, talking, taking into account uh, the difference in the leadership styles of, um, of women or, or females. And another of the 16 uh, gaps to be examined for future uh, studies is the uh, examination of the formal versus real uh, representation of women in, in frames. Uh, in this regard, uh, I think that previous literature suggests that the ability of women to implement their strategic vision uh, of the film may be limited by the symbolic or token uh, role within the, corpor the corporate hierarchy. Um, this ability is restricted to uh, not only by the position, but also because of its low status numerical um, minorities. In this regard, uh, there are uh, also relative recent studies and scarce studies that analyze the role of women uh, uh, directors and, and executives in corporate environmental strategies and their contribution to, to fight against climate change from the positions of responsibility. Uh, regarding your question, the CDGs require a special attention, both in compliance and in the reporting. They represent, through their 17 specific goals and 169 uh, targets, a coverage and balance between uh, the economic, social, and environmental dimensions of sustainability, uh, of sustainable development. I, um, and I think that uh, they provide an opportunity for systemic change uh, towards uh, a sustainable future. Um, despite its ambition and universal scope, 
I think that research on the causes as inputs and the consequences as outputs of companies' commitment to, to, to this uh, CDG, uh, to these uh, goals, is currently scarce and necessary. And I think that the study of aspects related to the role of, of, of uh, female leadership in the commitment of uh, CDG is of interest, as well as the moderating uh, role uh, in this fulfillment of institutional characteristics of, of the country uh, related to social and, and cultural dim dimensions, as, as we evidence in, in, in this paper. Um, at this point, I think that there is still a significant gap between awareness of importance of the, C of the CDGs, uh, their implementation and compliance of uh, in the reporting, uh, with a minority of themes mentioning them in the management uh, reports. In addition, uh, despite uh, being an emerging literature, there is little research uh, until now, as, as far as we know, on the organization determinants of reporting of the CDGs. Among the limited evidence, I remember the paper of Rosati and Faria in uh, 2017, I, I, I think, that um, where they analyzed a number of internal organizational factors, highlighting that a greater proportion, a proportion, a greater uh, representation of uh, women directors affect the disclosure of compliance with the CDGs. The, I think that the reasoning uh, seems uh, clear, at least uh, for us, because um, in line with uh, that previously uh, analyzed by gender studies, and as we evidence in, in, in the paper that we are discussing uh, now, um, further study and research is required in, in this regard. Uh, in my opinion, um, gender diversity adds value to control and management positions with women being more likely to include the, um, these aspects related to environmental, social, and economic uh, um, issues uh, in companies' strategies, justified, I believe, in, in a great part by the psychological characteristics uh, that define them. Thank you very much. And, and with that in mind, I mean, we can see that uh, there are corporations, large companies who are implementing quotas what is your opinion on that? Does it help or does it not help? Well, um, according to Kate Ellis' data, although boardroom diversity is increasing, women remain underrepresented and progress is slow. Nowadays, women represent about 20% of our members. In addition, it's possible to observe that among companies with compulsory, uh, with a compulsory gender quota requirements, only 20% of board reach the 30% women director, and 23% have no women directors. Uh, several authors have investigated how the institutional pressure associated with the establishment of gender quotas on board of directors sent to guarantee women access to position of power only as a mere box ticking exercise. The inclusion of women does not effectively represent a replacement of the male counterpart, in our, uh, nor does it ensure that women participation in any special state committees within BOAS. Evidence suggests that merit competition as female argument to access position or responsibility are not enough to comply with the rules of the male game. This is due to the importance of traditional social networks in relation to gaining access to board position. For example, the practice of playing golf as a social networking tool, ties established from the school, or the membership of clubs that women don't usually attend. So despite the change that are occurring in the demographic and professional profiles found on board of director, women are generally better trained than younger, but hold position of lower power. Personally, uh, I, uh, I am an advocate the position of responsibility are held by people with the necessary qualification to perform their duties. But the evidence show that this is not the case for women. So institutional pressure by gender quotas could be one, one option to improve the number of qualified women on board. Uh, and it's good for, uh, for companies because the evidence indicate that their presence is associated with an increase in the activity of the board and a decrease in the, levels of, in the level of conflicts in its meeting. So it's not the best option, but, uh, but it's good <laughs> in any case. So. 
Thank you so much. Thank you for this wonderful insight. And thank you again for your very important work that you are doing. And congratulations again for making the number one on this list. Thank you. Thank you.